strength players on the come up, and Naito definitely one of those mm -hmm. players who's uh -huh. been yeah. causing quite a lot of few waves here. Uh, you did mention that uh, Master Mario did win that ninja tournament. It was uh, the Genki beatdown. He did, he got first place. Genki beatdown. All right. First place with Sweet Tea at second, and Marvis Marco at third. Yeah, that was. I, I was there for the whole event yesterday. They had like five setups running in like a 45, 40 man bracket, which kind of took forever. But you know, they also didn't expect a big turnout. So, um, yeah, Ma Master Mario is putting in work, man, and uh, Naito too. It's gonna be interesting. A Ken. Thank you, Lee. <laughs> I like the name. <laughs> All right, this is actually going to be an interesting matchup. Um, and I always really thoroughly enjoy watching Ken's play because they just, uh, being one of the most technical characters in the game, especially like input wise as well, I think the p killing potential that he has and the damage, like his damage output, just everything combined about him makes him a super terrifying character. And it just reminds me of Smash 4 Ryu. Yeah, and despite those buffs and the way the character plays in this game, honestly, you still don't see too many Kens in top level play. And immediately, Master Mario out here to show why that's the problem here. Buffs don't matter when it comes to a, a player like Master Mario who kind of understands how the character works. He was used to fighting Key a little bit back in Smash 4. Yeah, Master actually looking like Smash 4 Mario with those up air strings, so that was actually <laughs> crazy. I thought he was, I didn't, I know it was going to kill, especially on the stage, but, it, you know, bringing that back probably would have killed in Smash 4, and that's exactly. crazy. Oh, yeah, that's going to be it. Yeah, did he get him when he was uh, Tatsuing? No, not even that. He kind of, even if he would have Tatsu, he wouldn't have made the recovery. It was a little bit too low. Oh, man. Oh, my <laughs> God. You can just tell he's, not, he's going for the moneymaker at this point because he's not letting Naito get in. I actually liked how Naito applied some shield on uh, pressure on the shield there, and then he taught Suit away, which was actually pretty safe. Uh, so he kind of oh, came in with an aerial. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, he came in with an aerial, but it was safe because yeah. he ended up tattooing out of it. So that was really smart. I like that approach. All right, going to get this forward throw. Going to get anything off of it. Maybe go for Flood into Fair off stage. There's a little recovery. I like okay. the fact that he's going out there for an air, but oh, unfortunately no. what he didn't anticipate here is he should re remember a lot of reusing cans and love to go for that focus attack cancel to make the recovery. Yeah, which is super smart, too, and that actually uh, threw Mass off his game there. Ended up SDing there, which is unfortunate. Doesn't matter, though. Going to throw out the F smash and uh, solidify that second stock. Yeah, you kind of have to ask yourself, do SDs really matter when you're the one in the lead? <laughs> yeah. At the same time, he's like, okay, yeah, I, so I still have some leeway here. Um, but honestly, uh, this could be very doable, uh, for especially for Ken. Yeah. He, he is definitely one of, like you said earlier, right? He does a lot of damage, very explosive character, and honestly, very reminiscent of back to how he was back in Smash 4. But even with those buffs, right? We still don't have too many cans here in Master Mario, like I said earlier. Out there, proving a point why there aren't too many cans around. Yeah, I was going to say, if he gets like a complete Choryuken there, it actually probably kills us early around those like 95% yeah. super early, which is really terrifying, especially, uh, you know, when you're bringing out a character that you know, strong in tournament. It's just like, what? Like, that killed me? <laughs> so, um, I don't know. Let's let's see his counterpick stage here, and let's see if we can uh, see him I mean, throw Master off his game here. Exactly. I mean, that's what it, hopefully Naito might be looking to do here, because so far, Master Mario definitely has his head entirely in the game. If anything, Master Mario is playing like he's looking to win first place at MSM tonight. He just looks so comfortable. Like, he doesn't even seem phased. Look, when, he got when, his when, ear when, pods when, when, when you have the air, <laughs> when, you, when you're rocking the air pods, when you beat Dark Wizzy, when you're the highest placing Mario <laughs> at Evo, man, you yeah. can walk around with this with this big chat energy in the venue and know you're dominating. Oh, yeah, he's making waves for sure. And honestly, it's so nice to see, especially because he's been around for as long as I can remember, too. Um, and, you know, I, I respect it. These people are always coming out every week. By the way, over 150 t entrants tonight at this event. MSM's always packing, guys. Great tournament to come out every week, and I feel like people are getting better every time they come out here. It's so important to get that practice and uh, to grind stuff out, especially with your friends, too. It's always a good time. Yeah, always a good time and always great matches to be had here. And, of course, Naito starting off with percent on himself over Master Mario. He's looking for some adaptation here. He's on Battlefield. Switch to Ryu, so let's see what damage he can do here. I don't even, I don't, I think I've seen, like, Ryu twice <laughs> <laughs> ever. Like, it's crazy. What do you think about like the big differences between the two characters? Honestly, it's more about multi-hits and even in their respective games, right? Like they're both considered usually about the mid-tier, right? But the one thing that Ken has over Ryu is that he has a little bit more damage when it comes to kick moves and, Ken and Ryu has a little bit more damage when it comes to actual like fist moves. Yeah, Ryu That's also has a faster projectile, the Haruoken, right? Yeah. Um, it's only if you do it by manual input. If you go for the regular B special, the special button, you'll, it'll come out a little bit slower. But if you use the manual input, it comes. It out It seems faster. like a better projectile. Just uh, he also gets access to shotgunettes, which is only oh, available okay. to Ryu. Ken does not get that. Ken has a better Tatsu in his games, and Ryu doesn't. 
So Ken, like I said, Ken has more damage on his kick moves. Super interesting to know. All right, Anyways, it's an like opportunity. That. that was a really nice wait. Not gonna kill though. I'm telling you, you have to know the right to eye to survive on each one of those moves, right? They're yeah, they Matthew are explosive. Seems comfortable. Okay, up throw, looking for those up air strings here. Ooh. Good parry, but he doesn't find the punish afterwards. There's the immediately up, he putting him off the stage. Naito having a bit of a tough time trying to get anything started. I know he's struggling to get this kill with uh, Ryu now, which is so, so like interesting. I feel like he needs to be going for something here that he knows that's going to connect and kill, and he kind of just is waiting here patiently for something. Oh, tough trade here. Yeah. Yeah, Naito having a bit of a struggle. Even when he found the kill confirm there, he wasn't able to get rid of Master Mario because oh, he had the, the right cape. DI with the cape. Oh my god. Just making this look easy right now. Master going in. And for those of you back at home not familiar with Street Fighter 2, um, the music does speed up when it's your last stock in this game, very similar to how in Street Fighter 2 when you're at low health. And the final round, the music will speed up. That uh, actually gives me anxiety. <laughs> like, yeah. If it, I was it, playing it on this stage. Sorry, what were you saying? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I would have inside the two here, the fact that the music's really fast right now. And not only that, the fact that I'm on my last stock, Nido looking for anything to go on here. he's struggling to get this the first stock off of uh, Master here. Just looking and it's really like you said, grim. he's looking to find some kind of confirm here, but Master Mario is playing so eloquent that he's not letting him have any of the opportunity to get anything. And even if he did get the confirm, as we saw earlier, Master Mario knows the, right, the correct EI. And even with the forward smash, the startup there is going to be the bane of Ryu. So, yeah, that oh, just that's it, that's it, that's it, that's oh, it. Oh, yeah, man. Unplug your joystick, roll up the controller. So Mario's F, F Smash is basically just beat out Ryu's. Yeah. That's you, so sad. You have to think about the fact that Ryu and Ken also have some startup frames on a lot of their moves. Yeah. So even then, they have explosive damage and they're heavy hitters.